like the speed of sound. Hey guys, I'm Luke Block here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Phantom 3 Standard Edition. I didn't get the Pro, I got the Standard. Today's Boxing Day, I picked this up for $600. All the other ones are above 1000 Comes with a 2.7K camera, and it can shoot at 1080p at 30 frames per second. I'm filming this on the camera that I unboxed in my last video. Let's unbox it. Alright, so it has two stickers right here. I got this knife for it. This is my very first drone. Besides that mini one that I had before. All right, so first thing you see in the box, a envelope with all the manuals in it, DJI Care, which is the warranty, and then underneath here, ooh, you see the drone. Feels really hollow and plastic. Okay, so the controller feels expensive. Feels really nice. That's what the controller looks like. It has an antenna at the top, folds right down, and here it has the phone stand, so you just clip your phone into that, and all the controls, up, down, left, right. And when you want to bring it all the way down, you bring it, and then it clicks down, and then it lands. And this rotates the drone this way, rotates the drone this way, and then this button brings the camera around. In here, we have the charger. Okay, so this is the charging brick. I have no clue what this is. I'm guessing this goes into the drone. And this is the charging cable. Now for the drone. Oh. It has some really nice weight to it. And I'm guessing these are all the pillars. And there's one more thing in there. Accessories, I'm not sure what this is. I guess these are just a bunch of extra parts that the drone needs. These white parts are for the stabilizer. These parts. I have no clue how to take that part off. This plastic stand is really flimsy. This part just slid right off. Now all that's left is the lens cap for it but I don't need to take that off right now. There's a slot for a micro SD card, which it came with one, an eight gigabyte one. The battery will last 25 minutes in the air while it's flying, and then you'll have to charge it, which takes about an hour. I like really don't want to break this thing. Untie this, opens right up. Oh, they're really plasticky and flimsy. Comes with tape all around there, but they're like really plasticky, so like one hit against the wall and they're broken. Whoa, it comes with so many extras. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, so it comes with extras just in case they break, which I had no clue that they came with extras. I just thought that they only came with four and they left you to suffer when it broke. That's perfect. There's not so many extras. There's just four extras, two of these and two of these extra. So I'm gonna tie this back up and save them for when I crash it. All right, so I'm just taking all these off. They're the stickers. I'm guessing that these are speakers at the bottom. They do have lights right here and all around at the same spots. Right here is where the battery is. You push right here to turn it on. And then right here it shows you how much battery percentage it is. You, to turn on, it says to turn on, press once, then press and hold for two seconds. To turn off, press once, then press and hold for two seconds. So it's the same thing for both. All right, so I'm gonna put these propellers on and I'll come back when I'm done. Put the wing on, all you have to do, and that's on. And then just make sure it's tight by going, it's on. Black, black, silver, silver. Oh, that was satisfying. Okay guys, so this is what everything looks like when it's all set up. The battery's full on this, it has the lights on, and this is the controller with my phone on it. If I touch this button, you can see the camera move down and up. And on this, you can see it move down and up. And just to compare, look at the phone and the camera, this is how much delay it is. It's not that much of a delay. And if I go like this, you can see it's kind of a delay. The controller is charged, and the drone is too. It has 87% battery. 
Alright guys, so right here you can just see me picking up the drone and moving it around just to test out the gimbal and how well it works. This is the quality of the camera. This is 720p at 60 frames per second. As you can see my setup. There's my camera. And that's how the setup of the controller looks with your phone in it. Now I'm rotating the camera up and down using the controller. And yeah, that's how well the stabilizer works. Alright guys, so that's basically it for this video. That was the unboxing of the drone. I would go outside and fly it for you guys, but it's been raining for the past couple days, and it's freezing outside, and the rain turns into ice, and I don't think that drone is waterproof. So yeah, when I get the chance, I will go fly it for you guys. I did just finish editing this video, but then I realized I had no outro for it, so I'm filming that right now. Thank you guys for watching. Leave suggestions for something else you want me to unbox and review. Or just any type of video. I have been live streaming Portal lately, but I don't think I'll continue doing that. If you want me to continue doing live streams, then I will. But other than that, leave suggestions for other videos. If we can get to 600 subscribers, that would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like on this video if you like it. Every like counts. Leave a comment and I will respond to you. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.